There is nothing normal about the auto real estate market in 2021, except for the fact that the fourth quarter is really mirroring the year of 2019. Let's admit it, 2020 was a completely different year and no one knew what was going on. So if we look at things, are things normal? Nothing's normal in Ottawa. My name is Greg Hamry from Remax Affiliates in Ottawa and the Hamry Real Estate Team. We just want to give you a market snapshot of what September was like, what the end of the third quarter was like, and where we're going in the last three months, the fourth quarter of, of, of the year in real estate in Ottawa. Well, the weather's been phenomenal. Uh, it's, it's October. I'm still seeing people wearing shorts around. People are biking. They're out active. Uh, the, the leaves are, are changing, but it's slightly. Uh, we had a lot of rain in September, but the biggest part of September was Labor Day was late. It was, which usually then there's a back to school one week slowdown. And then we had a federal election. Well, it's a federal city, so things go on ice here. Every federal election in the last two elections, it didn't last the whole election time period. It only had lasted the last week to 10 days and thing where things kind of get a little bit quiet because concern is what if something changes and the fact is the sun always comes up the, after election day and, and life goes on and then we had the national recognition day or Re reconciliation day uh which which was a was a day of of not working it wasn't a holiday uh that, that also assisted so lots of lots of other things happening in the in the world in in september here in ottawa and uh and lots of uh, lots of, uh, I guess you could you could call it uh, other things to do than talk about real estate and, and to buy and sell real estate. But believe me, buyers are out there. They're looking. They're looking for good listings, and they're looking for high end. The uh, with the one million dollar high end product, the luxury market, very little to choose from. Uh, we have buyers looking in that category, in those categories, and it's slim picking. So if you're looking a list uh, right now, or and we've got a number of listings coming up already teed up for for the first part, early January and February for 2021, 2022, but we're looking for high-end product right now. We do have buyers looking for that, that type of product, but there's a, there's a shortage. There's a housing crisis continues here in Canada and continues in North America, but the biggest election campaign should have been, how do we build more affordable housing? How do we build more housing, period, with, which is less costly. But the average price of a residential home in Ottawa as of the end of September was 721,000. That's up 25% over last year. And we know that's two huge consecutive growth years that we've experienced here in Ottawa. The condo market average price point year to date, 422,000 up 17%. Condo market's healthy and a lack of good inventory is definitely a concern. Condo market in Ottawa represents 25% of the market. So one in four purchasers is buying a condo. The condo market is healthy. Uh, there's lots of people uh, looking to, uh, to, to, to start life over or to, to, uh, to get a different lifestyle. Uh, they're not traveling yet, but their plans are to travel. So they, or they may be looking at condominiums as an easy check out of town and not worry about anything. But you also have the condominium market that depends on the first time home buyer and they're buying it because of a price point. So you've got pressure at both ends, high end purchaser and you've got uh, introductory purchaser. Definitely uh, Ottawa is still very affordable compared to the other major cities like Toronto and Vancouver where we're actually half the price. So a lot of relocation, a lot of people moving to Ottawa as a destination city. And we can see it in our tourism. Uh, a lot of people traveling across Canada, a lot of tourists coming to Ottawa. You'll see them downtown uh, throughout. I was out for a walk last night around Parliament Hill with my wife and, and it's just a beautiful city. There's so much historical landmarks to see, but it's a safe city and there's lots of walking paths and biking paths. Come and visit Ottawa, come and visit downtown. If you'd live in the outskirts of Ottawa, come and visit downtown, see what we have to offer. There's been so much activity, weekend activity from farmer's markets, multiple farmer markets, to uh, outdoor recreation with the CFL team that we have, the Red Blacks, which had an unbelievable game the other night. It was a beautiful football night. And then we had, the, we had, we had two back-to-back -back concerts. And then we had the Panda game, which only happens once a year. It was a lot of excitement. I couldn't believe all the gray and burgundy hoodies downtown on Saturday uh, afternoon and night. It was wonderful to see everybody out. Great for our economy. You couldn't get a restaurant uh, in, a, in on Saturday night anywhere in Ottawa. The downtown was alive, packed. Everybody was out. 
This wonderful weather is continuing. We're just about to go into Thanksgiving, which we're very thankful for. And we're, we hope it'll be another family weekend, so a little bit of a distraction. But to, historically, real estate gets another surge in the fourth quarter. And you'll see it happen just after Thanksgiving. It'll be a push. And most of those purchasers are pushing for a closing date of this year. So they wanna be in before the snow flies. They wanna be in before Christmas. Don't worry about decorating your home. People love seeing homes decorated that are on the market. So whether it's Thanksgiving or it's Halloween, don't overdo it on Halloween, but Christmas, set, put the tree up, decorate the home. Buyers love seeing what a home looks like decorated in the holiday season. A few helpful hints, a, few little, a little insight on what's going on in Ottawa. It's a wonderful year, wonderful time. We're really happy to be here pushing for our buyers and sellers. And we have a number in both categories. We have some off, off uh, listings that aren't on the market that are in our back pocket that we'll, we, we could sell this year, maybe sell next year, but we've got a, we've got a lot of pictures, uh, summer photos for listings that are coming up in the first quarter next year. So off market inventory is uh, something we can discuss with you in one of our buyer consultations. My name is Greg Hamry from Remax Affiliates in Ottawa and the Hamry Real Estate Team. If you're thinking of buying or selling or you wanna come and visit Ottawa, please reach out to us. We're here to help. Inspiring Dreams is what we do. Our website is weknowottawa.com. We know Ottawa, that's our website. Take a look, reach out to us. We hope to see you soon. Take care.